Okay, um, so this is an internship program, okay? Yeah. So an internship program is a program that um, involves practical work experience, not just yeah. um, certificated or um, acquiring just knowledge, all right? Yeah. So um, the training is broken into three to four major phases. The first phase would be uh, knowledge acquisition, where you attend training on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or watch some of our replays on our learning portal. The second phase is to develop the skills. Um, we would um, work on a class project to complete deliverables. So if you are to enroll for project management, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we can teach uh, um, the theory, the principles of project management, project methodologies, you know, um, starting a project, project in initiation, all will be theory. Okay, but on Saturday, we now work on a workshop to um, initiate a project by writing the project initiation document, identifying your stakeholders and stakeholder um, register, and also, um, yeah, you, you create your um, project charter, okay? Yeah. So you learn the theory during the week, and weekend you work on a workshop to develop the skills, okay? Um, you also collaborate with your course mate and also with a mentor to review your project work on a weekly basis. So with that, you would have developed knowledge and skills, all right? The third phase will be to gain practical work experience by working on a real project with cross-functional team, okay? So you would work on a live project with business analysts, with um, software developers, software testers, UI UX designers, graphic designers to de deliver a website, a mobile app, a, a data migration project. It depends on any of the technology project that you're going to work on. Okay. Now, this um, work experience, this project you work on with a real registered business in the uk goes onto your cv okay. all right so that's the third phase then the fourth phase is for you to launch your career your cv needs to be revamped and the cv needs to be 100 percent project management cv and uh, we use a technique called leverage so you can look at your past experience and um leverage on your project management skills so that when you are developing and revamping your, your new CV, it will be 100% project management, but also have some few years experience in it, not just the internship you've done with us. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. And then, sense. yeah, and then we support you through the process of job application, um, preparing for job um, interviews, and um, supporting you on the job. So that is what an internship program is, and that is how we deliver our internship programs. Okay. That sounds good. But the thing there is like, I work full time. I've worked in healthcare for the past 18 years, you know? So it's completely new to me. I'm just trying to transition. And um, like like the, thurs, the Tuesdays and Thursdays now, you say that you have the, um, the, the training program. Like what times, what times are they? Do you have them? Yes, on Tuesdays are 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. On Thursdays are recorded classes. So you can even watch it on, on Wednesday, on Thursday or Friday. Okay, you don't have it. The sessions are already on our student portal. Okay, what about the, the Saturday? Workshop? The Saturday workshop are in the mornings from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Yeah. So how do we do that now when we, it's online? How do we? Yeah. So um, it is something that we've mastered. You uh, it is practical. Um, you would work with your project team, your class team, your mentor. Um, on the on, on the project, somebody shares their screen, or you share your screen, and then you guys brainstorm and complete most of the documentation. Okay. okay. And then each person will now they will now drop that documentation where, wherever the, the the team has ended. Everyone will have their own copy, and then whatever you think you still need to update on the document, you will go ahead and update yours. Yeah. And the, and the um, work 
experience. It talks about how how long is that? Okay, that's a very good question. So we have about three packages. Um, the six month, three months, or two months. Now with the two months, you don't get onto the work experience. You only complete your class project in six weeks. Okay, but for the three months, you would um work on that three project simultaneously for the first six weeks, and then with your project group for the remaining six weeks. Then the six months. The six months you work on two projects. You finish the class project. And then from week nine, you jump onto another project from, from start from week nine to like week 22, 14 weeks, where you work with your cross functional team to deliver a project from start to finish. So you work on two projects for that. Do you have roles like the PMO? Do you do that? So when you get onto your live project, you can decide which of the role you want to occupy. But we normally advise our students that when you finish this program, you are as good as a senior project manager because you say you have 18 years experience um, in the medical field um, there are several projects that you have completed knowingly or unknowingly so um, if you are somebody with so much experience you are somebody that has some leadership skills already okay you are somebody that has managed people if you spend 18 years if you have 18 years experience so that means and this is about the experience um, the skill set and experiences that you need as a project manager but you can if you want to decide to start with pmo it is all well and good you can um be assigned the role of a pmo on your life project and you do that why i'm saying so is because i have um i have two friends here okay One is a brother you know, he's a project manager, but he's always stressed. Like he said, it is very, very stressful. Both of them have told me that it's very stressful to be a project manager. If the project fails, it's on you. If the project is successful, it's on you. So like, I, I am at my, I, I'm not a, you're a spring chicken anymore. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I am at a stage in my life where I don't want, I want soft life, you know? I don't want anything to stress me, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm surprised, I'm surprised. That's um, a project manager will say the job is stressful uh, because you are managing people, managing process, and managing the deliverable. You do not create anything. You manage people and ensure that they get the job done. Yeah. So um, how can that be stressful? Um, I, I need to know what project they work, they are working on. Okay, because most time you are in the meetings and you yeah. are getting reports from your team and updating the report and if somebody is not carrying their weight you can see that from your status report that the effect of this person not carrying his or her weight might lead us to extend the project by two weeks you speak to the person and get the person back on board yeah that's just the work yeah. because you were saying that uh, for both of them actually that um if people haven't completed any of their deliverables or their tasks will be completed and you have meeting with the stakeholders you know that everything is on him he has to get make sure everything is ready you know before the meeting with the stakeholder that sometimes people are very slow with coming up with their deliverables or with their um tasks but that but that that's the job isn't it what that's the job <laughs> you understand me that thing that they've told you that's the job except they don't want to work at all um, um, managing people, getting people to do their job, how can that be a stress? How can you see that as a stress? How? Because that's the job. Are you the CEO of this company? Yes, I am. Okay, what's the name, sorry? David. Okay, okay. But um, um, for them to call that stress, um, it's just their mindset. Because that is the job. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Compared that, that, that stress that they, they mentioned to you and the job that you currently do, which one would you prefer? To be honest with you, like I said, I've worked with this my job for 18 years. Yes. That's one. Mm. The, my supervisors, in short, all the supervisors I've had, they've been, sorry for a lack of a better word, they've been something that I don't want to go with, something else, you mm -hmm. know? So I just don't want that space anymore. It's stressful for me. Mm -hmm. I want a career change, you know, but at the same time, I don't want... 
I don't want to move, just like our people would say, from from farm to fire. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go from one stressful life to another stressful life. That's why I'm just trying to be. The only reason I'm coming to project management area is because at least with the uh, with the uh, what's it called, like the new development after post COVID now, where people can work from home. Exactly. You know. So you have <clears throat> more time to do all other things you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. So that's just what I really want. And again, I just need the career change. To be honest with you, it's, it's long working. The benefits, uh, the benefits are enormous. Okay, yes. the benefits are enormous. Talking about remote working, the pay is there. Flexibility is there. You understand me? Developing yourself as an individual is yeah. also part of it. Working with some kind of people, some caliber of people, is also part of it. There are some industries that the caliber of people that you work with, you are not happy with. I worked at a kitchen porter before, and that's not my environment. Yes. But when I go to tech, I found my own environment. I am engaging yeah. with intelligent people. That is what I want. You get the point. So the, the, the benefits are, are enormous. It's beyond financial. Talking about yeah. working from home, you're just attending meetings. Yeah. You understand me? Beyond, beyond financial for me because yeah. I told you I've worked 18 years now in my field. And yeah. I have reached the pinnacle of my, my um, what's it called now? Career. Uh, yeah, my career and mm. my um, wages increment. You yeah. understand? Okay. And I'm really, really on a high wage like compared to um a project manager right now maybe i would say okay entry level for project manager or something like that or average okay yeah. our average the average our student end is about um 60k per annum so for oh, for a start a pardon i do that a lot aha uh -huh. so when you say when you say your you might be at the pinnacle i know what they pay in other industry even accountants senior accountant they end about 45k but a lot of our students would start from 50 55 60k yeah that like to be honest with you i start uh, my my car my wages right now is about 60 close almost 70 to be honest okay but the thing there is that and that's because that's because i do shift work yes yeah, exactly you and work weekends for my basic my basic my basic is 55 okay you know? yeah but i do shift work so mm. brings it to 60 something 65 something like that and you put in more hours in your current job than if you are a project manager, trust me, you are at home, you attend meetings, you do other things, you attend another meeting, you follow up with somebody else, and your day is done. Yeah. And the next day, same thing. You attend more meetings, you update your document, you look at the progress, you know, um, you update another document, you join another meeting, your day is done. Yeah. The next day, you ask the developer, have they de deployed? Yes, they've deployed. You inform your, your um, senior stakeholders, the software is there, is deployed. They inform the end users, your day is done. So you're not even traveling anywhere, or you travel travel once a week. You understand me? You're putting less hours. Yes. So if you look at the hours you're putting in and what you've been paid, it's still going to be more than what you currently earn because you are putting less hours. I, when I got into tech from working as a kitchen porter, you know, and stadium steward, all of a sudden, I have so much time in my hand. Yeah. I don't work Saturdays anymore. I don't have to be running um, around 6, 7 p.m. to work till like um, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. your quality of life of is also part of it. Okay? Of course. Yeah, yeah so I would recommend you go for the six-month program. You know? Yeah. Yes. And then we can, we can take it from there. Ask again. Oh, oh my goodness, there's something I wanted to ask. Um, anyways, it's okay. Um, can I can for example now the training, right? That's the work experience. Yeah, will it be hybrid? It is or... completely remote. All everything we do is remote. The work experience is remote. So you um yeah. you you have your meetings with your project team, just as just as I've explained to you when yeah. you land the job, meetings here and there, update your document. Your day is done. You understand me? Yeah. It is meetings yeah. and document ob um, update or creating a document. Meeting, yeah. document update, following up with people. In short, these are the three things you, you will be doing. Yeah. Having meetings, creating document or updating your documents, and following up with your project team. That is yeah. the, the, the work. 
So okay. it is 100% remote. You don't need to travel anywhere. Yeah. Yes. Okay. How much is it, please? The 6-month program is £2,497. So four. Yes. But if you are paying one off, you get a discount of £500 each. So you it's £2,000. Sorry, £2,000. £2,000. Yeah. Yeah, then I will have to gather the money. I just said them to find out. You know? How soon do you understand? Um, I think I, like yesterday, but it's the money. Do you get what I'm saying? So, okay, how how much can you um readily pay now? Because the next cohort is starting next week, uh, no, Tuesday. I won't be able to start. I won't be able to start now. You know. I won't be able to start now, to be honest with you. It has to be, because I'm going to Nigeria. I need money. We're trying to go to Nigeria now. You want, you need so, money to go and enjoy yourself. Uh, Instead of you to become a project manager. Uh, eh? I need to see my dad. I have, my kids I haven't seen my dad in like 13 years. Mm. So they have to go see my dad. I know my dad is getting, he's an old man now. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So that's why we have to go this summer. So by the time we're going to gym, but to be back in July, so I will be looking at um any any time from um first week in August. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can we do something? Yeah, I know you want to start in August. Um, we had a discount that ended, but um that discount ended in January. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you can commit, you can lock in that same discount. Would that be good for you? And how much is the discount? The discount will be one five. Oh. But you have to commit today. I don't know what you can commit. Anything within the region of three hundred pounds. Mm. Now this is another benefit. If you commit, okay. you don't have to start the classes till August or whenever you want to start, but you would have access to our learning portal. So okay. at your leisure time, you can go and look at week one training and um, introduction to project management and all of the deliverables. At your leisure time, you can go and look at the week two training, week three training, you know. And before you start the, your own life cohort, you would have had a good sense of project management and what you should be expecting from the program. And also, you get the benefit of saving a thousand pounds. So, I'll, I'll pay one five, right? Yes. If you commit today, like 300 pounds, even if you, ideally, I'll say 500 pounds, but... What if I commit today is Thursday? What if I, I make the commitment on Monday? What can you commit today? That's what I'm saying. I can't commit anything today. Like if I do if what if I do it on Monday? If I call you on Monday. Alright, that's fine. You don't need to call me back. I think um, after this call, just send me a WhatsApp message. Okay. Um yes, then um, with your full name, I will send you the information. I'll even send you the payment details. So okay. that you can just go ahead and yeah, and make the payment and then you inform me that you've made the payment and then we'll do the enrollment process. You log in to the portal and then we'll put you on the August, June, July, August cohort. Yeah, you're sure that I will get a job after? You, if you work with us and follow our process, um, we have very high success rates. If you follow us, you, you know that. Yes, so now I would I will guarantee you our process, but you will guarantee me you're gonna do the work. Yes. So so if we both give ourselves guarantees, yes, you will definitely secure a job. It will be impossible for you to fail if you follow our process and do your play your own part. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, the work experience. So, is it um, is it going to be you organizing the work experience or a company? So we work with a third party company. So that is the company that even goes onto your CV. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay then. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Please send me send me a I'll, WhatsApp I'll message now with your full I'll name. Send me a message right now. What's yeah, and I'll also check out your. Your message on Instagram. Thanks. Nice talking to you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. bye. I don't work on Thursday. This I suppose normally I go out on Thursday. Okay.
Um, Emmanuel, your people are here. Okay. All right. I said normally on Thursday I, I don't work. You know it's my meeting off day. But I have to do this now. Yes, so Emmanuel Ikechuku. All right, um, Shola, I don't know if you can, let's just try and round up this thing now. Um, okay. Money, Emmanuel. Uh, we, we try to update some things, but you guys are here, it's fine. I'm not going to kick you out. Um, 20.